Bernard, thank you for talking under difficult circumstances. Um, what just happened? Hey, Max, I was throwing, I was throwing, uh, I think I was throwing a right hand or, or uh, a combination and then using the rope as an offensive defense like I'm known for. And I made a miss, and I think I, I, I believe I was frustrating him up to that round with a couple of just making him miss and touching him to the body. And every now and then he gets the overhand right in, which was only big punch. And um, he got frustrated, Max. He got frustrated, and when we got in the clinch, and I might have got hit with a glazed right hand or a left hook, and going through the momentum, next thing I know, he shoved me out of the ring. And I tried to grab it on the way out, and I went straight through the ramp, and I. I believe I hit my head, but I didn't go out. But I hit my head first, and my ankle got hit when I hit the ground. It twist. It's a twist. The doctor says it's swollen on the right side of my ankle on the right-hand side. Were you aware? Put the ice on the other side, y'all. I got the ice on the left side. Put it on the outside right. Were you aware that... Were you aware that you had 20 seconds to get back in the ring by rule once you were out of the ring? Yeah, but I couldn't get on. I couldn't stand up on my feet. But nobody said 20 seconds and like that. He said, "Can you go? Can you continue?" And he said, "Is your ankle all right?" And I said, "No." And he said, "All right." And he said, "Okay, what you want to do?" And I said, "Let's go back." And he said, "All right, can you walk?" I said, "Yeah," but I can't box on it because my leg is throbbing. I felt it doing this like a bad toothache. Do you have been able? You've been able? It was like like you know when you get hit with a low blow, you got I guess you know you said 20 seconds or whatever to get in the ring. But, you know, I had a choice to make, and I guess the, the referee, and they, you know, wanted to make the choice for me. But I know for a fact that if I wouldn't have got pushed out of that ring after I made a miss, the second half of the fight, when I'm known for coming back, I'm known for, not that I was down multiple rounds, but I believe that he was starting to fade out, and I was starting to come on strong and make any miss, and that was taking a, taking a toll on him because he's a big, a big swinger. And I know that it's going to be dangerous early. In a fight, and I know that I had a chin that can hold up to anybody's punch, as you've seen. And um, he got frustrated. It reminded me of the Robert Allen fight when I was um, starting to give him a boxing lesson. I was making him miss and frustrating him. And next thing you know, I'm out pushed out of the ring when Mills Lane was refereeing the fight, like the famous Mills Lane. So that's to me like a deja vu where at least I had it. A chance to go ahead and no, redeem just that. So, so, so you know the replay doesn't show that you were pushed out, but but it, it shows that that you kind of fell out. It, he, I think his forearm was on you, but it wasn't like a blatant. He pushed you out. It looked like you got caught with something and and you, you slipped through the ropes. Um, you you seem very the momentum. Of, of both things, the momentum of what you said and the momentum of me backing up against towards but the roof. You, you seem very, like we've seen you lose to Kovalev. You didn't seem as upset as this. And when I came in, I overheard you say into this locker room right now, I overheard you say, I can't believe they're going to give him a TKO. It seems that that is bothering you right now, the fact that that goes down on your record as a stoppage loss. But, but the reason I... Reason, um, I said that is because I'm I'm really still in shock. Like y'all, they gonna give him the fight, knowing that if the replay showed that even if his elbow touched me and he's throwing a punch and he's leaning on me, then I went through the ropes. I didn't dive through the ropes. You see, the momentum took me through the ropes, and I think I hit my head. Does everybody see they heard the thump they hit my head? But I was more or less worrying about my ankle um, than than my head until I realized later seconds that I did hit my head. But no, Max, I wasn't gonna holler and scream and jump and say, oh, and, you know, and all this stuff like that, because to me, I, I believe everybody's seen what was going on, and maybe I'll get a chance to go ahead and see if I could fight on it, which I couldn't, or see what the referee was going to do. But that, you know, that's, that's why I was more, even if they would have called it a no contest, even if they would have called it, you know, um, whatever, but not a loss, because I don't think, I mean, I don't think that it was warranty like that. Maybe, you know, maybe you say the rules after four rounds, after five rounds, but this was definitely a momentum pushing me from his body, forearm or shoulder or punch within the forearm. Look, Bernard, what is definitely to me, um, and I don't know what everybody else seen, but I know I was leaning on the ropes and he threw a punch and it sort of glazed and I backed up on the ropes next time. I know his body is on me and I went through the ropes. You, 
you are attempting to do something today that no one's ever done in the history of boxing. Beat a, a world-class fighter who's coming off a win at the age of almost 52. That would have been a record by some measure. And this was billed as your last fight. But given it is your last fight, you will not fight again? No. No. Why not? One, one reason is, Max, because I promised I wouldn't. And i uh, enjoying myself color commentating with your handsome face and Jim Lampley. But, you know, I think that when you come to a point in life where, you know, you know when it's, it's, it's final because there's nothing else to do in the game of boxing as far as making history and doing certain things. And also um, spending time with my daughter right here, as you told you, NYU. And then other things going on in my life, Max. And again, along with the HBO family, um, Golden Boy, can't forget that. Um, I'm well, 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 uh, um, happy in, in my life of retirement. This is billed as the final one, controversy, draw, split, whatever you want to call it, win, knockout, or less, it doesn't matter. Um, I believe that the crowd and the fans know for a fact that um, I went out like a soldier and I always fought the toughest and the baddest um, fighter in the era that I boxed or even before or after back. So yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm fine with that, but I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, I agree, but it is what, what it looks like or what it is. And, and I know what happened. I'm not in denial. Bernard, Joe's it's a tough. Joe's, Joe's a tough, strong, heavy handed puncher. Don't have a lot of mechanics with him as far as technique and skill strong and, you know, can come forward. But I think that Max, knowing people know my style, knowing I'm not a fast starter, um, this was the rounds that I know that I was about to go ahead and make something happen. We've covered that, and, and, and we got to get the business done, but I just want to tell you that if this is indeed your last fight, and it sounds like it is, it was a pleasure covering your career, one of the genuine all-time greats of the game, and it was an honor to cover your last fight.